Hey everyone, today I want to tell you about six funny books and they're mainly adult fiction because I think adult fiction has always seemed so serious but there are actually some funny books out there. So let's get started. The first book I want to talk about is A Short History of Tractors in Ukrainian by Marina Levitska. This tells the story of a Ukrainian family in London. I think it's London, definitely England. And the father is pretty old now and he decides he wants a new wife. So he gets this really young, big-breasted Ukrainian girl and the daughters, of course, don't approve and it is just hilarious. The things the father does, the things the daughters do and this new wife also, it just had me laughing all the time. The second book I want to mention is Tales of the City by Amistad Maupin. This is the first in a series and I really like the first, the second and the third. Then it kind of dwindles, it's not that much funny anymore. But the first and the second I thought were hilarious. I should tell you what the story is about. The series starts in the 70s with the main character Baby Cakes coming to San Francisco and experiencing, well, yeah, the 70s in San Francisco. The next book might be a little bit controversial to understand as funny, so let me read you the back of the book first. Do you feel some things are too serious to be cause for laughter? If so, with all due respect, put the book down and move on. It's a comedy about terrorist atrocities, war and the mass slaughter of innocents. Rule number one by Rupert Morgan is sort of a book about the 9-11 events, but no people die. The terrorist attack was not by planes, but by an electronic bomb, so that only the Wall Street and all the stock market and all the money banks and everything shut down and everybody panicked. So no people died, really, it's just a lot of money loss. It's sort of like a preview of the financial crisis. I just realized that now. Anyways, this book is really funny, how it looks at all the people, how they changed after the attacks and how their lives changed and what becomes important for a lot of people. And it's really interesting. Also, the framing of who did something there and it has to do with bees. Bees. I, I really liked it, but if you agree that you cannot make fun of that, you shouldn't read this book. Another funny read is Mark Haddon's A Spot of Father. It's a pretty big book, but it's rather hilarious. It's about this old man, the father of a family, and he discovers the spot on his stomach, I think. And he's scared that he might have something really dangerous and bad, so he doesn't want to go to the doctor. And this is all about him thinking that he's going to die and something bad is going to happen and what he does with his life then. And it doesn't sound funny, but for some reason it was very funny. Another book that had me laughing out loud was Me Talk Pretty Soon by David Sedaris. It's just stories of him trying to learn French in Paris and how he spends his time in Paris. And he, he just has a way of telling things in a funny way. Just like it. And the last funny reads I want to mention today are The Adrian Mole Diaries by Sue Townsend. These are the diaries of a young boy growing up and the way he sees the world and the way he writes is just hilarious. I read them years ago, please don't ask me details about the book, but I do remember that this is very funny. So those are some of the funny reads on my shelves. If you read any of the books and you agree with me, tell me in comments. If you know any other great funny books that I should try out, tell me also in comments and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.